expert Kevin Moore is about has just happened. A 7.7 earthquake has just brought the central United States. A state of emergency has just been declared. Stay protected by the earthquake. Stay protected by the earthquake in Clarence, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, and Tennessee. Officials in all eight states have emergency search and rescue operations underway. This is the State of Illinois Emergency Operations Center. All states are reporting. All systems are online. Commence Capstone 14 exercise. This is a drill. I repeat, this is a drill. The inability to share information results in us not really knowing the true picture of what's taking place. The inability of getting information to those who need it quickly has, in many cases, cost lives. On June 15, 2014, the Central United States Earthquake Consortium held the largest emergency exercise of its type in U.S. history by using a catastrophic earthquake scenario to address information sharing challenges that hindered emergency response efforts in previous disasters. We're collecting all this different information, and it's not that the information is not available, but maybe you're looking at it in a 120-page report. Uh, what's going on in this county? What type of damages are in this county? In an effort to help solve these issues, the National Information Sharing Consortium deployed the ArcGIS platform to gather and display critical information, such as road closings, power grids, hospital status, and other live field data, such as damage assessments, displayed visually and in real time. In this exercise, GIS professionals gathered 18 different categories of critical information, sharing it seamlessly among eight different states. We've rolled out at least 20 field agents across the state. They're sending in GIS data online, real time, and, and that's an example of where it has come from uh, and the interoperability that has overcome many, many of these obstacles. In order to better share information during a crisis, you have to be prepared to share information before a crisis. It takes the people, and the people are the ones that really need to engage and recognize this and then start sharing it in a way that's meaningful. The GIS professionals need to start thinking of themselves as part of the first responder community. Data is a critical element of improving efficiency and response and also for keeping our communities safe.